you know, when we, when we started out and we were putting this together and, and the, when the thought process was in my head for many, many years ago, the idea was um, to take a collection of established fighters, guys who were right on the cusp <coughs> of being world-renowned names and then also couple them up with um, younger fighters who might not have gotten a chance or fighters who might not have ever gotten that real break. Um, and with that opportunity, it gave us a shot to go out and, and aggressively pursue fighters like Eddie Alvarez, to aggressively pursue fighters like Hector Lombard, guys who were world-class competitors but hadn't yet gotten amazing exposure here in the United States, hadn't yet been exposed in a big way to a general market audience, regularly scheduled national and international television, um, and we had an opportunity to do that. These two guys came in as the favorites in our tournament. They came in at, uh, from a lightweight perspective and a middleweight perspective as guys who people expected would win. Um, and what the tournament allowed them to do is establish themselves as amongst the best in the world. Eddie came in as, as top five ranked in the world. Um, Hector didn't come in ranked, but there's a great deal of talk now and a great deal of conjecture in the MMA endemic space about Hector Lombard's position amongst the top middleweights on earth. Um, it, and it was just, it, what a great night. What a great night to crown two champions, two guys who stand for everything that we're about, who utilize this tournament structure to establish themselves and position themselves. Um, and I just could not be happier. I couldn't be happier for our organization. As a CEO, I couldn't be happier as a fan of the sport of MMA to have these two guys fighting for us and with us. Um, absolutely thrilling. Congratulations, Eddie Alvarez. Uh, congratulations, Hector Lombard. Uh, thank you. Uh, what a night! Uh, just so you guys know, I, I've been I've been uh, training for nonstop for about the past. Uh, it's a little over a year now because I was involved in the tournament before this one, and um, it, I, I words can't describe the way I feel right now. I've been doing two and three a days and, and one a days, and I haven't got a really a good chance to see my family and have a break and. Um, it's just really overwhelming to be able to uh, finish this, especially the way we did tonight. And I want to thank my, my team, Fight Factory, my, my coaches, Stephen Hay, Ricky Lee, Bill Shook, uh, Rich, Moses, everyone who helped me get here. Uh, this is what it's all about, putting on great shows, performing at a high level, you know, uh, with a great production. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of this, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, uh, I want to say uh, um, thanks to uh, Beyond to give me the opportunity to uh, expose myself here in um, the United States. Without him, I, I would be <clears throat> uh, no one at the moment. But thanks to him and the tournament and people who uh, bring me uh, bring me to fight with him, now um, um, the people people know what um, what the tournament by is all about. I want to say thanks to all of you guys to support uh, the Bellator and, uh, and keep going, man. We, let's go. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, it was a good fight. Uh, Hector's a tough guy. Uh, definitely coming in this. I was obviously the underdog. Um, you know, I thought my ability and my strategy was going to go in there. Hopefully take him down. I know he had a great hands and great speed and everything. Uh, but definitely he really surprised me on his uh, wrestling uh, defense uh, takedowns and stuff like that. But uh, definitely I'm going to be back. I mean, this ain't going to be stopped. I mean, I'm definitely uh, in there to fight for the long run. And uh, hopefully I'm thankful for uh, Bjorn and uh, Bellator to give me the chance to uh, actually step in the ring and prove myself. Um, so uh, hopefully I can get in there. And, uh, you know, this is a little bit of a setback. But, hey, I'm a, I learned a lot off this fight. So... I'm definitely going to go back and get to work and hopefully uh, see you in the next uh, Bellator uh, 2 tournament uh, and hopefully win it. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, you know, Eddie uh, capitalized on the fight tonight. It's good, a lot of excitement. Uh, but, you know, he came up on top. What can I say? He got it, he earned it. But I'm um, definitely coming back. Uh, I don't have any problem coming back and facing whatever tournament format's great. You know, nobody can duck you, nobody can be like, I don't want to fight him today, um, choose someone else. It's just something that I really like and I dealt with so much in my career. 
But um, definitely looking very forward to coming back here and um, you know showing all of the fans and maybe what else I have to offer. Hey everybody. Um, I just like to thank God and um, I'll be back in September, man. We'll be joining, kicking some ass, man. Hopefully I get to fight Eddie, man, how we supposed to, you know, first time, but, you know, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that I'm really glad of the opportunity to be here. It's been a great night, it's been a great atmosphere. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be part of this. And uh, I hope to be back. I hope to be back. Eddie, congratulations on your victory tonight. I know it's been a long time coming. <coughs> now, you've been through two tournaments in the last year. I wanted to get your opinion on the tournament format, how rigorous it is. I know you got injured in your last tournament. And uh, do you think that the tournament format's really suitable for MMA, given that you have to go through so many training camps, training camps, you know, in such a short period of time? Um, it's, I, I don't think it's for everyone. Uh, the tournament structure. Uh, there's certain fighters who, who can get through it. You truly have to love fighting to do it, a tournament format. You, you can't be half-hearted or in the way. Your heart's got to be completely into fighting if you, if you want to fight in a tournament. Um, it, there's just no, no break. It's day in, day out. No break. Don't see your family. Train, eat. Me and George were saying this the other day. It's, it's like food. Fighting and, and then rest and that's it. That, that's all you get to do. So, yeah, uh, we didn't say the last one, but uh, but uh, that that was about that. That's about it. You just your heart's got to be in it. You got to love it, and it's not it's not for all fighters, but it's definitely for me. Congratulations again. Thank you. Sure. Um, you First of all, uh, congratulate Bjorn. It was a great event, great tournament. And do you have a date set up for the next tournament? and if there's gonna be other weight classes as well? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, the, the next tournament will begin late September, early October. Um, and then the follow-up question to that is always, where will it be seen? And what I can say at this point is that it will be seen uh, in both English language and Spanish language, and it will reach a significantly larger universe than the current programming reaches. And we should be in position to make some announcements in probably the next 30 days as to exactly where that'll be seen. Um, from a weight class perspective, that's going to be an interesting question because um, we had some electrifying performances and we came out of this tournament with some, some champions that um, are A-side performers. We came out with the Eddie Alvarez of the world and, and the Hector Lombards and Lyman Good put on a spectacular performance and Joe Soto came out of nowhere in Northern California with five fights to, to establish himself at 45. I mean, he, you're not talking about a guy who went through mediocre fighters. He beat Wilson Hayes to capture our title. Um, so it's going to be a, the initial intent was to probably pick two of the weight classes and then complement it with a heavyweight tournament and maybe go to 205, but it's difficult. There's not a lot of meat on the bone of 205 world class available right now. Um, but it'll be an interesting question. We could conceivably go with four weight classes that are duplicative of exactly what you've seen in this tournament, but do them as a, as a challenger series, or we may go with three and add a heavyweight tournament into it. That's why. Um, the Dave Hermans of the world, and Eddie Sanchez and others have been fighting for us. So it, it, you could see a heavyweight tournament or you could see these four weight classes duplicated. Additional questions? I wanted to ask Hector if, uh, if you thought about it, you come up with an Australian flag, but I thought it was if you thought about bringing out a Cuban flag too tonight. Man, I'm, I'm, you, you, you always come with something strange, right? Mate, <clears throat> I always say, always say like I'm a Cuban, but <clears throat> I represent the country who let me let me fight. And the country who let me fight was Australia, because I love everything over there. All right, you know I love all my stand up over there, my Muay Thai, my Jiu Jitsu, my grappling, everything. And that's the country who I want to represent to, because I love uh, the Cuban people. I'm a Cuban, but I want to represent the country who let me fight and let me do what I like to do, and this is fighting, right? You understand that, though? Yo, you understand that? Yeah, I understand. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, it's been a very exciting season. Thank you to all the fighters, the champions, and thank you to Bjorn Bambi.
Have a nice night.